Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to animate a butterfly like this in After Effects. So let's start. Okay, so first we're going to add a stroke with pen tool for the path of the butterfly. So it is going to stop exactly at the center of the screen. So let's change it to rounded cap. Let's rename the layer. Now this is going to be the body. So we're going to add trim path and adjust the start and end value. So this is the length of the butterfly body. After that, we're going to go inside stroke and adjust the taper value. So it is, we're going to make it slightly pointed like this and let's adjust the ease like this. So right now to move the body we need to animate the offset like this. Okay now let's animate the body first. So let's put the offset value keyframe over here and let's jump on to next 30 frames. So currently we are in 30 FPS and we are going to move it and it is going to stop exactly at the center like this and let's start it from here. Let's easy use the keyframes, go to motion graph editor and we are going to give an ease at the end like this. Maybe we need to slow it down a bit. Alright, okay, so the body part is done. Now we're going to add a null object. So let's add a null object. Let's move the anchor point exactly at the center. So we are going to use this null object to trace the path so that we can parent anything with this null and it is going to follow this null object. So let's put it somewhere over here in the head and it is going to follow nearly this kind of position or maybe the tip of the head like this. It is going to follow the tip of the head. Now after that, we're going to go inside the path, copy the path and we're going to paste it over here in the position. And you can see some keyframes have been added, but we have to adjust the timing of this keyframes a bit and let's select these keyframes and cancel the roving across time. So it is going to be changed to the easy is keyframes. Okay, now we are going to move the null object and let's adjust the timing a bit. Let's duplicate this body once and we are going to remove the trim path. And let's decrease the opacity so that we can have both the body as well as the path. So now let's add few extra keyframes on this body offset property in the position of these extra keyframes of this null object. So we're going to select this extra keyframes, press and hold the control key and double click on it to convert into roving keyframes. Now we're going to copy the motion graph from this property and paste it in this property. So for that I'm using ease copy. So select the keyframes click on copy, select this keyframes, paste the ease. Now let's check out and you can see that it is actually almost following the body. 
but there are few keyframes where it is not following or few positions such as this one so we need to manually fix this one as well So after that, we are going to add wings. So for this one, I'm using a simple shape, but the technique will be pretty much similar for whatever shape you choose. So I'm choosing an ellipse over here and putting an ellipse. Let's change the color. Let's move the anchor point at the bottom and let's rescale and properly adjust it all right so we are going to convert this into 3d layer and let's rename it as well so first we are going to animate the wing in 3d let's open the rotation property and we are going to animate it in x-axis like this and even sometimes we need to fix the y-axis as well all right so let's solo this layer and let's first animate the wings let's jump on to next seven frame and we're going to move it aside and maybe slightly moving it in z axis as well as in y axis so let's put zero zero over here again next seven frames we're going to copy and paste the initial keyframe let's press f9 to ease the keyframes and we're going to adjust the motion graph a bit all right now we are going to copy those motion graph and paste it in other set of keyframes let's check it Okay, I think we need to speed it up a bit. So let's jump on to next five frames. And let's move it over here again. Let's jump on to five frames and move it over here. Okay, let's turn on the motion blur and it is going to look even better. So we are not going to add loop expression over here. We are going to simply copy and paste the keyframe multiple times because that would be easier. At this point it is going to stop so that's why and at the end we can slow down by one frame maybe we can give some more ease at the end all right so now for the wings we're going to parent it with this null object and we're going to convert the null in 3d as well so it is going to follow the null and then we are we have to adjust the shape path a bit let's turn off the motion blur for now so until this point it's looking pretty nice but we need to fix the motion path or the shape path from this point So we are also adding keyframes on orientation and the rotation properties of null as well to properly fix the position of the wing.
So this is how it looks. For this lesson I used a basic shape for the wings but if you want to use a different shape for the wings the technique will be pretty much similar. Let's compare the key poses of both these butterflies. Okay so these are the two butterflies and these are the key poses or the main key poses and the only difference is the shape path. So you have to manually adjust the shape path of this butterfly and it is going to look something like this. Okay, so like this you can animate butterfly in After Effects. And if you want to learn how to add grain texture in After Effects, then you can check out my other videos on grain textures. I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the i button on the top right corner to check out the tutorials. So that is it for this video. If you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson then make sure to comment down. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then goodbye.